Hey, how's it going? And today, this morning, I just wanted to do a follow-up to the video I did the other day. I made a, made it seem more complicated than it was as far as importing a MetaHuman into Unreal Engine, but I wanted to just show you kind of looking at it externally. But once you have, if you're just operating with inside Unreal Engine 5, I'll show you right now, it's not as complicated as I showed you in that video. It's actually a little more streamlined, but it is some of the same issues come up. And so we're just going to go in here and create a third person game and just let that do its thing. So it's confusing, I guess, because there's three separate programs, right? You've got World Creator, Quixel Bridge, and Unreal Engine 5. And once you're in Unreal Engine 5, there's actually a pathway between everything but it doesn't necessarily seem intuitive <laughs> and you kind of have to know where things are. So right now I don't have a MetaHuman in here and, and I would like one. So we just come up here and we go to the Quixel Bridge and then it should, if you're already signed in, it should recognize you and then it should recognize that you have your MetaHumans here. And so I created this MetaHuman. Now if there's a check mark here, a green check mark, that means that it's already been downloaded. So look, if I click on this, you can see where it says downloaded. And I click on this one, you can see it's been downloaded over here. So let's say I wanna, the one thing I don't like, I, I don't like interfaces where you don't see the controls until you hover over something. Because it's not clear if you're just starting like what's going on. So. Once you hover over this, you get this option to export the highest quality. Even though it says medium quality over here, you'll have the option to, to download. Here it says just export medium quality. Now let me just, let's see what happens. I'm gonna switch this to highest quality because I downloaded highest quality. Let's see. Okay, so it's, it appears as if how you have your settings here. I've downloaded this one and this one is the highest quality. So if I put this on highest quality, it's going to give me the option to export highest quality. If I switch, click on this one, it's going to give me the export highest quality. If I switch this to medium quality, it's going to say export medium quality. So that's how you can control your... So all you got to do is once you have Unreal Engine open and you have, this is the MetaHuman I want to export the highest quality. I'll click that and then it imports everything. And the other thing is that once you're, and it does this, this is hopefully a glitch they're gonna get fixed in the next iteration of the engine, but you gotta enable all this stuff, these missing plugins. And then once you do that, you've gotta restart everything. So we'll go ahead and go through that, let it restart. I think there's a way I'm sure there's a way in the code to get that fixed, but uh, obviously this is still in uh, some kind of beta phase. So now I, if I come back here on the MetaHuman and my MetaHuman, everything should be downloaded and I restarted. And the other thing I wanted to show you is that if you click here, once you're inside the bridge, you can now, if I hit start MHC, that's the MetaHuman creator, that will take me straight into the MetaHuman Creator. So there is a pathway internally. You don't need to go through all the drama that I went through in that first video. So I just wanted to explain that. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize that. And then if I click on my content browser, you'll see that the MetaHuman is in here now. And then it's right here and I can just drag it onto the scene. So I just wanted to do this update to show you that you can get between all the programs internally once you're inside Unreal Engine and you don't necessarily have to go through everything that I showed you in that prior video. So I hope this helps. Take care and have a great day.